All right, before we go into the video about the knot, all right, I just want to mention that I say it wrong in the video when I'm in the field, okay? I always say two, one, which it is, but it really isn't. It's more of a four, two, okay? That's more correct because of, hey, kitty, kitty, what's up? Because of this, okay? Because it's going to go from eight, four, two, <laughs> one. To start over, one five seven eight four two one five seven eight four two one with your three nine six nine three nine six nine three nine six nine clock. You know, the vortex math and the knot or the S that is not yet formed one with the diamond of the Superman logo, you know. Oh, will I be able to find it in a significant amount of time that I deem Yes! Not ridiculous! Oh, it's beside that guy. Let's take them both out. You know, it's beside this one. <laughs> yeah. Ta-da! Well, you know. All right, so that's the knot in the matrix. Okay, that would be the eight. Okay, look at this. If you had a one-dimensional line here, like a pole, a north and south, anode and cathode, that would be your one, this is your five, when you come back up, it would make your seven with the dash through it, okay? And then your eight, two, one. All right? Okay? So this exists, okay, across from the National Archives of Canada in Ottawa, okay? This exists. This is found on my whiteboard. This is found in a number sequence, guys. That's why this exists. And if you want to think it exists for any other reason other than what I say sure delude yourself okay this is a lot of sacred math okay masons okay people in the know this is here for a reason this is here hopefully so that I find it able to connect dots okay it's just one point of view of a statue okay what is it called the statue it's called the 12 points guy 12 points this is your, this is your knot. You know, think of James Bond, you know, Casino Royale, when he's like stuck in that chair and they're at the bottom out and then they take a knot and hit him in the balls. Yeah, that's what I think of. Okay. 12 points in a classical balance. Okay. What is this? A sine curve? Huh. A line whose end joins the beginning to form a loop. Okay, guy? So if you can't see how this is a representation of 157821 in vortex mathematics, I don't know what to say to you, guy. Okay? But only from a certain point of view. 1, 5, 7, 8, 2, 1. Where 8 is just a number on my 9x9 nine nine matrix. Okay? I wonder which way this faces. That way. Hey, look at that. It faces the Museum of War, which looks like a giant sundial. Yeah, everything's done for a reason, okay? Everything pointed in whatever fucking direction it's pointing for a reason, okay? Now, I'm not against the statue. I'm just saying it means more than you think. I think it's important, which is why I keep coming back here. 12 points in a classical balance is basically a loop, people, okay? People are talking about loops in the comments and how we're not part of infinite loops. Well, sadly, the infinite loop, okay? It's like, it's like salmon going upstream. You can't go up the Fibonacci waterfall, okay? It's a lot of energy to swim upstream. Keeps you in the knot, okay? Classical balance, 12. Come on, it's your zodiac keeping us at that level of consciousness in a classical balance would mean we would be easier to control. <sighs> What's funny is when, the, when you're following the path in which energy traverses, okay, <laughs> You need to know how to, how to collapse the 9x9 matrix, okay? 
into a 5x9 and a 5x9, centered on time. But to do that, to go from 1 of 7 of 13 of 110 to the other side, which has, a, I guess, a 1 of 174, 100 of 500, you know, you need to make a rainbow bridge. Now the visual light spectrum has seven peaks and or valleys. <clears throat> the infrared has four. The ultraviolet has three. The ultraviolet is more condensed, like let's say your root system of a plant would be. And the infrared gets straighter the further you go away until eventually it becomes flat because light can bend in air and your eyes are the shape that they need to be in order to, for your brain to translate the analog to digital signal that makes you think that you live on a flatness plane Rainbows have seven colors. There are seven chakras. Okay. You got to make the rainbow bridge of consciousness, of that leap. To literally fold the page, guy. Okay. I can't really see right now, but you got to fold the page. Because once you get to the bottom here, okay, once you go through the knot and get... Uh, once you get to the eight, and then you... You know, you start going down, you make your whatever, one, five, whatever, blah, 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 nonsense, and you're going around the infinite loop of classical <laughs> balance, 12 points. Once you get to here, you can choose to go back to eight. Because remember, this black circle that I circled is not really there. It is there, but it's not part of what I drew. Like, it was added. Can't remember the video. But if you were to understand that this is where you get off and then you go this way instead of going back to eight, okay, that's when you make the rainbow bridge. So, anyways, it has to do with all that stuff. The path that energy travels. Okay, what, what is this? This is a nine by nine matrix. This nine by nine matrix is a depiction of what? A tetrahedron or fire. Four faces, four vertices, and six one-dimensional edges. Okay, that's what this is. Flux capacitor. Okay. This as a whole symbolizes fire. What is fire? Fire is energy. Okay, I'm talking about cellular mathematics to create a cellular energy device. <laughs> wow. It's part of the code. It's part of the path that energy travels, I believe. And it's all very interesting. So, I don't know. So what I want to talk about, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about creation of this. I want to talk about the, I don't know, synchronicities with the creation of this. And, I don't know, James Bond and random things and songs and movies. It doesn't really matter. You can pick a subject. We can probably decode it on the fly or give it our all. But how this is the five elements or whatever, okay? Like, it's these guys, okay? These are needed. You need to know these things when you're, I believe, constructing a model. Like, you got to 3D print some crazy stuff here, guy. So, like, you know, it's all here in the quadrants. It all makes sense. It's all congruent. It's, it's been too, synchroni too, too synchronistic to be a coincidence at this point. I want to share the synchronicities. I want to share the coincidences and the derivations. And I've made a lot of assumptions, but I've been able to back up my assumptions to the point where finally you start off was a 69 you make a one by two okay but it's only made there in the corner but after a while when you find armageddon and you find all this crazy stuff and the stuff that energy travels and the path and whatnot and, and all the you know letters of our alphabet and english and stuff and then you find the capstone and then you're able to break the capstone down to one by twos well that pretty much allows you the freedom to break down every one by three that you see in here into a one by two okay to a bunch of one by twos to a point where eventually everything's circled. Okay. It's complete. I got 99 problems. <laughs> oh my God. But there are a couple zeros at the end. 
of the trailing nine before the period, my friend. So, okay, check it out, okay? My two-month-old nephew taught me about a whole bunch of different zeros, okay? This is a zero. This is also a zero, but it's a 15, but it's circled, so it's like a 16. Hex, okay? It's also a complete. Okay? It's like a zero, but complete. And then you get this one. Now, what are you making here? Look at this. That's a zero guy. But look at this. That's the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the number nine. That's a 69. A 69 is also a type of zero. Interesting. Look at this one. It's like a one by two and a one by two. Look at that. There's a one by two by one by two making a circle. Huh. Of one by twos. Interesting. All right. How about this one? Oh, if I go all the way over here, that's also a zero. You know what that zero means, guy? Look at that. What's that? What's that number? What is that? That that that's an eight. Okay, but the fifth pillar is always rising because I can't put my pinky down because it's retarded. So what's an eight doing with a one? Hey, look at eighty-one. Eighty-one cells in a nine by nine matrix for the last two to be created are an eight and a one to create eighty-one cells. Look at that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 81. There are one, two, three, four, five different types of zero guy. And your ordering of number changes when you think cellularly. It goes one, zero, eight, nine, two, seven, six, five, four, three being the highest number. <laughs> we'll get into that later, but. Anyways, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop now.